Well, they could uh, become the car designers of the future, but for now, they're concentrating on robots. Elisa Vasilova reports on a friendly rivalry among students. The world's future scientists and engineers gathered this weekend for the 18th robots competition called FIRST. F-I-R-S-T means for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. Some 10,000 students and 500 robots took part in this quite unusual event just next door to us right here at CNN Center. Robots played a game called Lunacy. Six robots at a time, one is able to score by picking up balls and dropping them in the trailers attached to their opponents. And now let me introduce you to Larry. Larry traveled all the way from the Philippines, and I had the chance to meet and speak with the young intelligent creators of Larry. They call themselves Burning Fire. Our team's name is Lagablab. It's a very old Filipino term for flame. And uh, we chose that name because we want our team to represent uh, our spirit and our fire for this competition and then for our country. We don't have anything like this in our own country where this international competition. So I guess that it's being in an international competition and having this opportunity to make this robot and to wow whatever people we can, that's what encourages us. With the five week time that was given to us, like more than a week was spent learning, actually just learning to do it. So building the robot, we had a, we had a lot less time. And I think we really did well. We're just really happy and proud to have gone to the championships. As in, I think we really, really did well for a rookie team uh, and from another country also. Uh, I really think we really did well and hopefully we'll be able to do better next year. Well, time now to meet the other competitors, robots and humans alike. All right, here we go, autonomous mode. Off in a couple of ways. Have to brainstorm. What are we going to make this robot look like? How are we going to make it pick up the balls, collect them? What are we going to do? How are we going to get them into the the trailers? You know, there's so many ways of doing it. Yeah, it's really fun. I mean, you get to use what we've learned at school to apply to building a physical <laughs> object like this. I mean, I would have never thought I'd have joined the robotics team. And we just. You know, enjoy socializing with all the teams here. This is my first year. Um, my brother was actually on the team, so I'd kind of seen it and got really interested into it, and I'm sucked in now. I can't get out. <laughs> the first robotic championship 2009 is lunacy on the greater, baby. As far as the ball path goes, we have two ways of loading. We can either uh, human player load, we can throw balls at the top here, or we can pick up off the ground down here. This is what's generating uh, our future engineers. This is, this is the, the bedrock of our country going forward. I really hope to become a mechanical engineer. The competition can be nerve-wracking, but it's, it's always fun, always have fun, whether we lose or win. It's just an awesome experience. For some of the competitors, it was a first at first, but it won't be the last. I'm Relita Vasilova. Back to you. I absolutely love that event. You learn about engineering, about teamwork. Let's bring up Jen Delgado because that conference or that competition with the students is happening right next to where you are. You yeah. should go check it out. Pretty fascinating. I think it's over by now. You know, that always makes me feel like a failure. You know, you see these kids and they're doing all these things and, you know, they're just like, oh, I'm 10. You know, <laughs> you're like, you're like on your way to be I, an engineer. Yeah, they're, they're so incredibly talented. But what I really liked was a number of female students. There. We a like lot that. of girl power. We like girl power. Tournament. Good stuff. We like girls in engineering, and we like them in science and meteorology and news. Just like Christy. <laughs> Christy's <laughs> mathematics, too, though. Christy's got a big brain up there. <laughs> no, 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 no. But you're the, the, you're the master of meteorology, I so am. I am. go with it. All right, I'm going with it. Let's go. All right, we're going to talk about...